Go to catch more Pokemon fans. Welcome to another Place Get Games video. We're absolutely hyped. We are in MCM Comic Con again. We're here selling tons of Pokemon cards. Um, I just thought I'd show you the MCM Comic Con London. We'll also be at Birmingham later in the store. So our stand is absolutely busy at the moment. So hopefully we'll be able to show you a video later. Let's go and let's go and help Lewis. Excuse me, gentlemen. Excuse me. Sorry. Excuse me. Lewis is looking busy there. So let's go and sell some things. Let's go. Got a catch ball. So it's the end of Friday. And finally now, obviously, because it's closing, I can actually show you guys how our table looks. So, so you're, walking, you're walking along, you're walking along, and then bam, there's, there's Playscape Games. You can see our logo down there. So we've got lots of awesome stuff. I'll show you the shelf first. So we've got some nice booster boxes. Obviously, we've got the new Astral Radiance booster box. We need to open those in the Elite Trainer box. We had a bunch of 39. They all sold. So we've only got like three left at 42 now. Some nice boxes we've got um display case acrylic display case the the um, ultra pro one there's some random bits some nicely ev tins um i think this is the tin that we got the charizard v from actually i think it was the espion tin or maybe sylveon stardew valley board games because I, I like board games i like stardew valley might as well pick those up leafion and glaceon and coming over here is like the main the bulk of it the main stuff Japanese sleeves have been very popular today, just sleeves in general. I made some mystery tins, they got like a pack, um, the uh, pin badge, a coin, all sorts of stuff. I think, I think it's quite fun for £9. Sold a couple of those. Uh, obviously, you, you know our Comic Cons, we got all of our pin badges, official Pokemon pin badges. Everyone always loves the, loves the pin badges. Show you a close up of the pin badges there. Or sleeves from Japanese booster pack. Japanese packs haven't been as good today. That's the other big thing, actually. I've, someone asked me earlier what's what's been selling well. And I, normally, Japanese packs do really well, but not not this weekend or today. Anyway, maybe they'll do better tomorrow. And yeah, obviously we've got our folders here. This is the one I take when I'm traveling anyway, like Battle Styles, Fusion Strike. Um, we've got a few uh, bits of Astral Radiance there. So and yeah, some sort of Sun, um, sun and Moon stuff, some just random cards, promos, things like that. Astral Radiance singles, I haven't sold any of these yet, like 10p, 20p, 30p, just from Astral Radiance in there. There's some celebrations, some beautiful cards and stuff. This will be very similar to what we have at all our Comic Cons. So keep an eye on our Discord and Facebook if you want to, you know, see any of our live events. A few PSA cards over here, um, PSA graded Pokemon cards, just some of the stuff on our eBay store as well. All the nice things, some reasonably priced there, full art grandma, best waifu. Um, yep, some cool stuff, and then obviously the display case. The case has been quite flexible. Normally we just have PSC in there, but we've had like booster packs. We sold out all of our Cosmic Eclipse packs at nine pounds each. Got some Burning Shadows left, some nice single cards, PSA graded cards, some nice stuff over here. And now we've got two pack dispensers. So we've got like Astral Radiance, all the newest sets, um, Shining Fates, and uh, they're gonna be Ricky Martin. Shout out to Ross from Skyward Fire Games. And the Coup de Gras, the sealed Cosmic Eclipse booster box with the display case, 390. They're like 430 on eBay, so that's a good price. And uh, yeah, some build and battle boxes, the cute little Arceus figurine from the Arceus V box, and the play mats. The play mats have been doing quite well today as well. Very good. And the lovely Lewis, he's just sorting out the stuff at the moment. Her Lewis again. Yep, yeah, he's the ever present, the lovely man. Uh, yeah, that's just kind of a little preview of what we got here today. I'll let you know if anything else interesting happens. I buy anything else, or maybe we'll do an opening. Who knows? Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. So this is day two. It's Saturday. There's over double the amount of people here. It doesn't look that busy here, but over there in the corridor, it's absolutely hectic, heaving. Got my awesome Pokemon Centre London shirt on. If you want to see my tour of that, it's like two, three years ago now. Click the link above and I can remember. This busy the whole day. So I'm going to go and help Lewis again. So this is a cool um, collection purchase from one of the people who f uh, follows me. Um, so I'm so sorry I forgot your name. Please leave a comment below. I'm sure we can chat. He had an awesome Pikachu collection. We've got the Reverse Hollow um, Expedition one there. Just an awesome Pikachu collection. I might have to add some of these to my actual own sort of like my own kind of like personal collection at some point um just wall to wall beautiful pikachus the choose you promos are lovely birthday pikachu like lots of the v's the gx promo from the from the cosmic eclipse box reds pikachu one of my favorite the one with sorry one with red um beautiful pikachu v unagaba the cherry blossom one i think i need that in my collection as well kanazawa just absolutely awesome we've got a nice mega tokyo pikachu 
um, no more red celebrations. The Hooper one, the tiny little Pikachu riding on the Latias. Beautiful card. And the Coup de Gras Battle Festa 2017. Beautiful collection. And there was also some nice uh, modern in there, including some Evolutions, the shiny ones, and and the Meet Meet the Galarian Zapdos as well. Really nice, some really nice cards. I'm very happy to see that. Got to catch them all. So we're here at the end of day two, Saturday, MCM London Comic Con, May 2022. It's been absolutely crazy busy Saturday. Um, yeah, sold lots of stuff today. We've got one more day. We're gonna head off to the Fox soon and maybe have a drink and some yummy food. But of course it would not be a Comic Con without some pack openings. So we've got four brand new packs of, four packs of the new Dark Phantasma expansion. The um, special expansion just came out in Japan new character rares we've got two packs of blue sky stream maybe we're going to get that 300 dollars rayquaza v max alternate art and we'll finish off of course with a v max climax i love japanese packs and remember we're also going to be at hyper japan um japan hyper hyper japan expo in like three weeks end of july come check us out um in hyper japan if you're in there the end of london in battersea park so we'll start off with the dark phantasma booster packs um See if we can get that Gengar character rare or maybe that special art golden Zorok um Zorok card, yeah. We don't get normally we open new boxes of the special sets, but we've been quite busy recently practicing and stuff, so see if we can get it. Is it one from the back? It might be one from the back. We've got a nice oh special Pokeball mirror foil rotor. New Ghastly. There's Ghastly, has got like the blocks, you can see like that fairy energy on the block there. People think, oh the new card, the fairy energy's coming back, and probably not. Nice crow gunk, um that girl. And a thing. Oh, oh, a nice Gengar Hollow um, chandelier swinging for Lewis for his collection. What are the odds? So that's the really strong. That's the really strong new Gengar. That's the one that will be used in Zorark V Star. Um, you can basically play out the discard and put three damage counters on the Gengar on it, or four damage counters on itself, and then um, your Zorark V Star will be doing like. 50 damage for all the cards that got damage counters on it. Nice reverse holo there. I really like that new reverse holo pattern. It's really cool. Got a nice Goomy, Cascoon, Toxicroak, and a holo Arcanine, um, Galarian Arcanine. So this is the one that attacks for zero. And if you've got zero cards in your hand, you're doing 160 damage for no energies. This should be a strong deck when it comes out. So we've got two more packs, fingers crossed. Oh, how's the stand been? Has it been a good weekend? It's been nice. Grand. Yeah, yeah same. Same here. I, I normally like to look through your boxes. I couldn't even. I haven't even been had a chance to find you. We have got a nice character rare Parasect there with all the forest, all the the characters. Really nice character rare Parasect. Put that to the side. Um, got Goomy, um, another Parasect, Hodgecrow, and oh, it's the new Radiant Shiny Steelix card. Very nice. Check out that radiant pattern. Beautiful. Have a, have a look at that. It's a beautiful card. Can't remember off the life of me what it does. I don't think it's overly playable, but it looks really amazing. Yes, that is a really nice Felix. Right. I don't think we'll do one from the back because then we, we might um, reveal the radiant card again. So last pack magic for um, the Dark Phantasma. A nice Hiswayan Electrode V and a Dust Tots. Nothing too crazy from that last pack, but that was really epic. Right, two packs of Blue Sky Stream. Let's see if we can get that Rayquaza VMAX special art card. Fingers crossed. Gonna get WTF Epic Pool from this booster pack. I think it's one from the back for Blue Sky Stream. Got a nice Appleton, Simi Seer, Stuffle, Minen, and oh, a Reggie Drago. Not too bad. And get one more pack, and then we're gonna end that VMAX Climax pack. Can we pull the Galar Friends Full Art Secret Rare card? I think that's like over a hundred dollars, that one. That's a crazy one. Right, Boltoy, Pansage, ah, oh, okay. That guy, Landorus, okay, mess up the trade. Right, last pack, Magic, VMAX Climax. Every pack is guaranteed a V or a VMAX or something special. Let's say we can finish with something epic. Fingers crossed. Yeah, it's been an absolutely crazy day. We've got one more day tomorrow. Hopefully, we can see you guys at Hyper Japan in a couple of weeks. And I'll be myself personally. I'll be off to Milan special event to compete in the tournament next weekend. Nice Eevee, a Remoraid, Tower of Waters, Aurora Energy, regular Galar friends. Maybe that's a good sign. Electrode, or Oranguru, 
and a Zamazenta V. Not, nothing too crazy, but some really cool bags. I think my favorite is probably the character rare Parasex and of course the shiny Radiant Steelix. Beautiful cards, shiny golden Steelix, let's go. So we're back. Uh, it's like the Wednesday after the Comic-Con. I finally think I'm recovered. Uh, I'm not sure yet, but big thank you to everyone that came to the Playscape Games stand. And a big thanks to these lovely people who I'm going to put on the screen now. Um, these were some of the awesome cosplayers that um, were at the stand. And I asked them to take a photo of their awesome cosplays, Officer Jenny and um, all those lovely people. And thank you so much for visiting. If, you are, if this is one of you, please leave a comment below. And, you know, I'll like your post and react to it. And thank you for your for visiting and your awesome cosplay. Always love seeing the cosplayers. Um, but first, I'm going to show you some of the other stuff that we picked up. So we we've been bought, we were bought a few cards and extra things over the weekend. A few collections and stuff. So got um, some nice Umbreon Gold Star. Um, the full art swaying Typhlosion. Absolutely beautiful. It was, it was a good Comic Con. It went by very quickly. Um, I was quite tired for most of it. I think maybe I need to... Oh, yeah, this is what we pulled from the... From the booster pack, actually, I think we pulled this this guard this um, guard of war. But yeah, so many nice cards. Um, I also found like some old boxes and some other things to grade as well, like through looking through boxes and things. I've um, got a nice Star Eevee Cities promo, Leafeon, Full Art Nessa. Um, yeah, please remember if you're watching this, uh, we're going to be at Hyper Japan at the end of July. And uh, yes, I'm also quite busy. I've also got to go to the Milan special event and um, this weekend So again, there won't be too many videos this week But hopefully we can get back to more of a you know, maybe two two or three video a week kind of schedule Full art Irida very playable in the new Palkia V-Star deck which is like a popular Irida is like quite a popular character just from um, You know just from the Arce Legends Arceus games anyway, so um, Yeah, and then a lovely guy who's the folder you saw earlier that he had all these beautiful you know, these beautiful full art cards and, you know, the alternate art Galarian Zapdos, the Roadrunner, meep meep, um, and the Tyranitar, just some lovely cards. And we're also going to open these Astral Radiance packs as well, just for a bit of fun. Um, we still have Astral Radiance stuff on our website, playsketgames.com. Please, you know, click link in the description. And, uh, yeah, Chunky Chew and the full art one and the Hooper and, of course, a nice birthday PG. You can never you can never say no to a birthday PG. So those are all the cards that I picked up from the from the Comic-Con, not, not the nicer ones. I picked up some, like, some bulk and some other things as well. But let's finish with some pack openings. Please remember to leave a comment below. Did you visit the Comic-Con? Did you go and cosplay? What did you think of the place again stall? Were you disappointed that there was stuff that wasn't there? Which, is there something else you want to see potentially for, you know, the Hyper Japan stall? I'd love to know what you're up to. Um, we've got a nice Perugly, an Azelf, Shield on, Stantler, Quillfish, Cypher, Togepi, Combi, ooh, Radiant Heatran, and a Origin Form Dialga. Double hitter pack there. That is, that's a double hitter there. These two don't see as much play as, um, I say like the, the Piat, the Palkia V, and the, um, like the Sparkling Greninja, the Radiant Hit Greninja, but these, those two are still really cool, and I'm sure, um, they might see some play at some point, but... Uh, yeah, we're off to so we're off to Milan for the special event. Unfortunately, it's the last tournament with um, there's still another tournament to go with um, this the existing format. So we can only use Brilliant Stars cards. Unfortunately, we can't use these these new Astral Radiance cards, which makes me a little bit sad because I would love to try some new Astral Radiance decks. But maybe that's a good thing because I barely had time to practice what with the you know the Comic Con and all the other events that have been recently. I'll be at the um, Milwaukee and the North American International Milwaukee Regionals. Um, near Chicago in the United States and also at the um, North American International Championship. So if you are in Columbus, Ohio or in that, at that regional, you know, please come say hello. Um, I, hopefully I'll do a little vlog because I'm out there for like almost two weeks. I think it's definitely worth vlogging that. There's been so many other tournaments. I haven't had the time to vlog as many of them as I would like. And a nice Reggie Drago to go with our Reggie Gigas deck. That's awesome. But... Yes, thank you for watching the video. Please remember we're going to be at Hyper Japan very soon. Come see us at the end of July. And please also remember to like the video, comment below, let us know what you thought of our stand, and I will see you very soon, Pokemon fans. Remember to subscribe as well. <laughs> I'll see you very soon, Pokemon fans. Go ahead and catch them all. Thank you to these lovely people. They get exclusive market updates, Japanese buying guide videos, how to grade your cards directly with PSA and all sorts. Please click the link below and check out the Playscape Games Patreon and I'll see you very soon Pokemon fans. Gotta catch them.